baked it with everything homemade. And look at the lettuce. Take a look at how much it grew in the last seven days. Beautiful. Look at those leaves. Aren't they awesome? Like, it. you know what? Like I said before, growing plants is so therapeutic. It's just all your hard work and you see it growing. So take a look over here. This is our biggest plant. This is the one that sprouted the very first. Um, just absolutely gorgeous. So what we're going to do today is we are going to make a homemade goose poo, um, basically tea to go over to give them an extra boost. And then we are going to water the other one with just the standard um, store-bought miracle Grow stuff. So I want to, I've never really ever compared the two. I've used both successfully. So let's give it a whirl. I mean, this is the perfect opportunity to test this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do that. And then I also want to give a shout out to Bloom Plus. They are sponsoring this series. They sent me this grow light right up here. It's an it's a BP 1000 and it's 50% off on eBay. Check out the links below. Everything is there for you to click on and discover what Bloom Plus has to offer. So far, you guys, unbelievable grow light. The plants right here are just growing phenomenal. It doesn't heat up when I put my hand right on top of it. It's not hot at all. It's quiet. It's sleek. It's just all around very smartly made and I really, really applause Bloom Plus for making this grow light and giving me the opportunity to um, put it to the test. Absolutely impressed. So let's get to the lettuce here. I want to give these lettuce plants a boost. It's been three weeks since germination and they need to have a little boost to feed. Now when you're growing with the soil, you don't need to do this every time you water because the nutrient stays in the soil. So I'm going to get the manure tea ready, but I'm not going to water it till seven days from now. I want the second set of leaves to get a little bigger, then I'm actually going to use the fertilizer. So let's get over here. So I'm going to put on a pair of gloves because I am going to be working with goose, goose and duck poo. And as you saw in the beginning of this video, me collecting it, and this is the bucket I was putting it in. Now, probably some of you are like, oh, this is pretty gross, but this is gold. And you've heard me say this before because goose and duck poo or basically any waterfowl poo, what it does, it completely dissolves in the water. Now, and it's ready for the plants to use. And I find it, it is like the gardener's gold in the dirt. I just am so thrilled. Every time I use it, I am thrilled for having the opportunity to have this kind of basically free poo on my property. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this bucket. Now I'm not worried about the little bit of dead um, plant material here because it's not going to actually come out of my cloth and this is just a cheesecloth. Remember I said in the last video I like repurposing things and that's basically what I'm doing here. So I'm going to just carefully dump my my poo on my cheesecloth and this is why I'm wearing gloves and basically I'm just going to kind of, you know, basically make a big tea bag out of it, just like so. Okay, just like that, and just make sure all the corners are, are evenly, you know, so nothing seeps out, right? You don't, the whole point of the cheesecloth is so the good stuff goes into the water and all this, anything solid um, doesn't. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So you just grab an elastic, and I'm just gonna straighten that corner out. There we go. And 
just tighten it up. Then I should only need two rounds here. That should be tight. No, let's try for the third one. That's a little tighter there. Okay, so I'm just going to tighten it and I see that there's a little bit of this organic matter at the top. I'll just pull whatever I can that is loose, but this is a leaf caught so it's not going to go anywhere right on. And then I'm just going to take it and I'm going to drop it right in the water. I'm just going to hold it there for a moment so it just kind of fills up with water. There we go. So it kind of half floats and half sinks and basically what you want to do is just leave this for a few days and this is why I'm doing it a week before is because it takes a little bit of time for the manure like I got some little bit drier manure and a little bit um, of today's manure from the geese so this is just making it moist and all of it is going to seep into this water and then it's going to the water is going to change so during the week I'll just either do another film in the middle of the week or save it for next week to show you what what it looks like but um, what we're going to do, I'm just going to put all of this into the water. And then I'm going to put the lid on. I like having things closed up so no bugs get in here. Um, it just, no accidental spills. So I'm just going to close this up. I'm going to now just put it on the floor here, out of my way, and out, and out of my kid's way and just leave it there. So as for the lettuce, I'm just gonna take my gloves off here for a second. As for the lettuce, for this week, there's really no maintenance required. Just continue watering it, having the grow light on for 18 hours, off for six hours, keeping the ground nice and moist. You see it's nice and moist when I, when I lift it up, it kinda of clumps together, but it's not dripping. Um, the other cool thing, ooh, let me show you this. Okay, this one you can see it. Okay, you guys, you see this root right here? Isn't that cool? There's, I love growing in clear containers just to see the roots because roots rock. They are so unique looking with their little hairs. So you can see the lettuce roots coming down and right here too, and that's the importance of having good moisture level is to have the roots go deep into the soil to anchor the plant. So I'm looking at the roots right here too, and they're healthy, they're strong, and they're doing really well. So once again, I would like to say thank you for watching. Thank you Bloom Plus and I will see you on the next video.